In agriculture, it can be difficult to find the right mask for the hazard you're protecting yourself against. It's important to protect yourself from the hazards that you can and can't see. So when you're looking for a mask, it's very difficult to find. Look at all of the choices that we have for a mask. So when you're out there looking for a mask, we need to try to help you find the right one for the job. So what we would, can do is start with kind of a simple, basic mask. These are the ones that you can find probably in a farm supply store, but even then, there's a different type of a mask that we want to talk to you about. And Lowell, you were, you were telling me about a mask that you sometimes wear. I think, Deb, you told me about that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Pat, at first I just would buy the single strappers and then eventually you realize that they're really of no use because you can't get them to seal properly. They That's right. They, they really are. So if, do you have any of those masks in your house? Yes, we do. You need, you need to get rid of them. Don't let them wear them those anymore. Yeah, that's right. So you need something with a two strap, at least a two strap. And then because it's NIOSH approved. And NIOSH is very important because that helps us make sure we're wearing a quality mask to protect you from the hazards. You can see on these masks they have a NIOSH approval number. This one here has a NIOSH approval number right there on the front. Easy for you to see. But if you can't see it, you can go ahead and take a look inside. We've got um, like the instructions they have, as you can see here, NIOSH approval. Mm -hmm. And this one as well. And this is for these little pancake filters that actually says NIOSH approval. That's what you need to look okay. for. Okay, so then we're going to move from a basic two strap mask with no valve to ones that maybe have, feel oh, that right there, that's kind of got a a cover on it so that helps so it doesn't collapse when it gets wet. You know how they collapse and get kind of crappy on your face? They have a tendency to get sweaty this time of the year. Yeah, and that doesn't feel good. Have you worn a mask before? Yes, I have. And tell me about how that feels. Um, I don't like them at all. Difficult <laughs> to breathe. And I see you have glasses. So here's a mask with a valve. Several of these have valve. And the valve helps so that you can exhale so the mask doesn't get quite as wet and sweaty. Have you worn a mask with a valve before? Yeah, I really prefer them. They are hard to find. Uh, they do help with the fogging of the glasses and also they keep you cooler because you're not rebreathing the air as much. Right, and I think we talked about farm supply stores, but there are some good online stores where you can purchase masks as well. And so when we move to kind of up the row here, something that's a little bit thicker is gonna provide you with more protection. This says N100. N100 means that we're trying to filter at least 100% of the air that you're breathing. And you can tell because it's thicker, it's got better straps. Yeah, take a oh, look yeah, at that. Yeah, a lot better seal. A lot better seal, absolutely. And there are other masks as well. These would be the cartridge masks or the half masks they're called. We've got a couple different ones here. And these are for having, adding cartridges. For example, we talk about confinement mm -hmm. in agriculture. So in confinement, you might want to add an ammonia cartridge the smell of ammonia, you've been in hog confinement yeah, or poultry. Nice. No, and it can make your eyes burn, but also your throat and your nose burn. So we're going to always add a pre-filter because we want to get out those particulates as well. And we're going to have a filter holder, and then that will go on your mask. Very, very important point. That hydrogen sulfide that can be in pits when you agitate and you're cleaning out the building, this will not work for that. That's a, a situation where it's immediately dangerous to life and health. So you do not want to assume that this type of mask will protect you, okay? So these type of masks also have um, something that's called a particulate. These would be also N100, so they're going to filter out those very fine particles that can get down in your alveoli. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we have a lot of different choices. Choices are important, so you need to make sure that you have the right mask for the right job with the right fit.